ever wondered how kernel methods work in machine learning? Well, you're about to find out. Kernel methods are a class of algorithms in machine learning that are specifically designed to tackle higher dimensional data. They're like the superheroes of machine learning, swooping in to save the day when the problems get complex and the data becomes too large to handle with traditional techniques. Imagine you're trying to make sense of a massive tangled ball of yarn. That's what it's like to deal with high dimensional data. It's messy, complicated, and overwhelming. That's where kernel methods come in. They have a unique way of unraveling the mess and making sense of the complex patterns hidden within the data. These methods might sound a bit intimidating, but don't worry, they're not as scary as they seem. And trust me, they're incredibly important in the world of machine learning. In the next few minutes, you will understand the basics of kernel methods and how they play a crucial role in machine learning. So what is the principle behind kernel methods? Well, let's dive right into it. At the heart of kernel methods is the idea of transforming input data into a higher dimensional space. Why do we do this? Because in this expanded space, the data that was previously tangled and inseparable suddenly becomes linearly separable. Think of it this way. Imagine you're trying to separate two types of fruits mixed in a bowl, say apples and oranges, but they're all mixed up. In their current state, it's hard to tell them apart. But what if you could spread them out, say along a table, with apples on one side and oranges on the other? Suddenly, it's much easier to distinguish between the two. That's what kernel methods do in machine learning. They help us to create more accurate models by making it easier to distinguish between different categories or classes of data. Now that we understand the principle, let's dive deeper into how kernel methods work. How do kernel methods work in machine learning? Now that's the question we're about to dive into. Imagine kernels as a function that takes two inputs, each representing data instances, and then returns a measure of similarity between these instances. Sounds simple, right? But the beauty lies in the complexity it can capture. By using this measure of similarity, kernel methods can capture complex relationships between variables in our data. Let's step into the process. The first step is to map our input data into a higher dimensional feature space. This process is called feature mapping. It's like taking our data to a new dimension where complex relationships are easier to understand. Next, we calculate the inner product between these newly mapped features. Inner products are just a fancy way of saying multiplication and addition of our features. This is where the kernel function comes into play. Rather than calculating the inner product in the higher dimensional space, which can be computationally expensive, we calculate it in the original space using our kernel function. Now, here's the twist. The kernel function does not explicitly compute the coordinates of the data in the feature space, but rather computes the inner products between the images of all pairs of data in the feature space. This is what's known as the kernel trick. It's a neat little trick that sidesteps the need to compute the coordinates in the higher dimensional feature space, significantly reducing computational complexity. This kernel trick is a key aspect of kernel methods. It allows us to work in the original input space without ever having to compute the coordinates in the higher dimensional feature space. This is a game changer in machine learning, making it possible to handle large datasets and complex computations. So, in essence, kernel methods transform our data, determine the similarity between instances, and use this similarity to make predictions or classifications, and all this while keeping our computations simple and manageable. With this understanding of the working of kernel methods, we can now appreciate their application. Where do we apply these kernel methods in the realm of machine learning, you may ask? Well, kernel methods are like Swiss army knives, versatile and adaptable. They find their use in various applications, especially in support vector machines and principal component analysis. Support vector machines, or SVMs, utilize kernel methods to transform data into higher dimensions. This transformation allows SVMs to find the optimal hyperplane, maximizing the margin between different classes. It's like turning a two-dimensional puzzle into a three-dimensional one, where solutions become more apparent. Similarly, in principal component analysis, kernel methods help in extracting the most valuable information from a data set, reducing dimensions while retaining essential data characteristics. It's like simplifying a complex novel into a digestible summary, without losing the plot. In both these applications, kernel methods help in creating powerful and efficient models. They allow machine learning algorithms to digest complex, high-dimensional data, making them an indispensable tool for any aspiring data scientist. 
With kernel methods, machine learning can effectively handle complex, high-dimensional data, making them an indispensable tool for any aspiring data scientist.